Right, today we're going to be fitting a swivel base. Yeah, so we can swivel. <gasps> Rude. Isn't that right? No. What are we thinking though? Boo boo. Poor boo boo. Oh. I've had one of them days where. He's been drilling his fingers instead of the van. Well, so, well, right. We got one of these. It's damn heavy. How will I? He's right, a wimp, honey. Stay there for 10 minutes while I talk about this. Okay. Okay. No resting it on your leg. Cheating. So, this is from RJ Camper Solutions in the UK. It comes with a certificate that says it's been crash tested. It's been tested to. You want to let go of that, don't you? <laughs> A little bit heavy. Bloody heavy. It's been crash tested to say that it meets all European standards and it comes with a little chart that I don't know what and do you know what that means? It means that No, it's she safe. doesn't. It she, does? It means it's safe. So that's good. We'll keep it, but not for now. It's meant to go over there, but you got in the way. Bah. Whatever. So we're gonna fit this seat base. Basically all you do is you undo your original seat, you lift it up. You plonk this one on, you screw it in, and you swivel. And it'll take four minutes. <laughs> Why do you always laugh? Because <laughs> you're just wrong. Right, so first of all, we've got to take out all these bolts that hold the seat in. Now, these bolts are with these star things. Right, now, somebody who knows better than me, informed me the other day that they're called Torx bits. For this channel, they're called Star Drives. So we're gonna take all these out that is holding the seat down. There's a few inside as well. So I've undone this one. Emma can go around the other side and she can undo the other one. You've also got one that comes through here as well from the other side, which is just there, which Emma can get. You can see the nut there, so she can lean through. It should be loose, you might be able to finger tighten it because, you know, being a nice person, I've sort of undone them for her, so she's not struggling. And yet again, it looks like she's doing all the work on a video. Hold you up, will you? <laughs> this is taking too long. Really? Really. I can't get it loose. Really? Stuck. Let me give it a go. You got it? That's to go. You got it, aren't you? Yeah, it was stuck. Ow, oh, come on. Done. Ah. Ooh, it's a long one. So, that is a big long one. The short one is that size. And the other longer one is this size. Right, so now, there's another one that goes in there. Oh, forgot about that. <laughs> is it loose? Right, so you do have a couple of connections on the seat which are just there. They need to be unplugged before you can actually lift the seat up. Right, make sure this is important. When you unplug the seat connections out of the seat, make sure that your ignition is off. Don't turn your ignition on during the process. Keep it off until you have finished the complete seat. Because on Mercedes, it sets off a sensor on the actual dashboard, but you have to go in and get turned off for the airbags. And I don't know what it does on the crafter, but I don't want to risk it anyway, because I presume it would do the same thing. So leave your ignition off, put the key somewhere else, don't turn it on, you've been warned. And that's one seat off. Give it a bit of a clean now. Come on, put your back into it. Good 
work. Swivel. <laughs> right, that's the seat base clean. Now to get the big bit. So this is the seat base. Emma's going to unwrap it all. Right, so the seat base basically goes on into the same position that your seat was in. So, you lift one on. Right, so once you've got your seat base in the place where it's meant to go, all you've got to do then is to put the original bolts that you took out of the seat. Fasten them in and fasten this base down first. So, we're going to go and replace the three bolts that were holding the seat down back into this. So for this corner here, the original seat base did have an actual nut in it, but they do supply you with a 17mm nylock, which will just go on with a spanner, then get your Torx drive in the end and tighten them both up. Do I do a star drive? No, it's a star drive. <laughs> it's a star drive. Right, so now you've got your base in and it's all secure, then it's time to basically just plunk the seat on top, bolt it one there, one the other side, one there, and one there. You've got the same anchor points as you did on your original seat base in the swivel base as well. So we'll stick that on top and get it bolted down. So in this corner here, you will have to use one of the bolts with the nylock, which are these. It comes with its own nylock and a washer. So, bolt goes through, wash it on the back with your nylock, and you're good. But, we get the two centre ones in first, then we'll put the edgings in. Right, so now we've got the seat in place, you can see, you're going to have one bolt there, you're going to have one bolt in the front there, which goes through to a nylock. You can take these out just to give yourself a little bit more room when you're bolting things in. So you take these out. Emma can pass the bolt through one side. Might have to take your little knob out. Once the bolt's through, you can then put your washer on and your 17 milli. One there, one at the front, tighten them up. Do the back ones the same with the nylocks, tighten them up and then off you go. Right, so once you've got the seat down, then you just need to reconnect the cables that are in the back. The top one, which is there, that will go through the back of the seat to your the one that comes down the seat. And then the other one will join to the wire loom, which Emma is going to plug in right now. And then that's your cable and in. Right, so once your seat is in, then you can put your seat back like that. Get rid of all the rubbish. And then there's one thing that's noticeable. Is that your original seat will sit a little bit higher. So, let's see if Emma's legs touch the floor. That's a no. Do yours then. I'm driving. I've just noticed something that we didn't do when we come to spinning the seat round, is that we didn't move the position of the seat holder. So if you have your seat belt in the original place on the side of the seat, and then you spin your seat round, it means that the seat belt is going to go right across the seat. But take your seat belt fixing and lower it down to the back of the seat on that bolt there 
and then when you move your seat round, it just means that the actual seat belt doesn't move with the seat. Right, so now the seat belt isn't attached to the seat, it's attached to the base. It's still secure, it's still safe, it still goes across and it still buckles to the actual seat belt, so it's fine. Now we've just got to swivel the seat round. To swivel the seat, you've got to take out a load of bolts. And I'll show you where they are right now. Drop it forwards, and then in the actual seat base, you've got eight of these nuts so just undo them all so now I'll come to show you how the seat works it starts raining thanks England but I've just told you to do something that you should not do I told you to move the seat belt bracket from the side of the seat onto the base do not do that don't don't do it the reason you shouldn't do it is because it's crash tested with the belt attached to the seat. So, if you move that, then your crash test and basically goes out the window because that's not how it was crash tested. So, we've reverted it back so it now goes onto the seat rather than onto the seat base. The only problem with that is when you spin your seat around, the seat belt comes across. You just put it behind. Also, when you spin the seat, where you actually put the seat belt, catches on the seat so you could tear the fabric and in theory make your seat belt useless which is not very safe and um, I kind of like being safe so this is how you turn the seat once you've taken all the screws out we're going to do it with the door shut as well just to show you that it can be done the seat will move forwards and it will move backwards it will also move left and right you have got a bit of play so easiest way I found to do it is to go in towards the door like that now you can see the seat belt there which is attached to the seat not a problem we'll sort that out in a minute keep going around with your seat avoid everything then take a bit of slack of your seat belt Throw it behind the seat, and that is fine. You know, that, that's not getting in the way of no one. And then once the seat's in position, you just move it around so it's wherever it's meant to be. Right there. Take a couple of your bolts. Come on, work with me, you bitch. Pop a couple of bolts in. You're not going to need all eight in if you're not you know moving the vehicle so we just put two bolts in and then that way the seat can't move you can fold it down and it's done you then have a seat facing backwards that you can sit back in and just relax if that's being informative give us a thumbs up leave us a comment Yes, they're not cheap. They're about £320, what we paid for it, but it's safety. You know, you can buy some cheaper ones. Are they going to be as safe? No. I would recommend going to the company we bought ours. I will leave the links to them in the description below so you can go and check them out. Next thing we're going to do is the driver's side swivel. So you can get a bit of a longer bench seat there, which would be nice. Also means that someone could possibly sleep on it as well if they come and visit. Who knows? Anyway, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment, and don't forget, subscribe. It's free. Little bell icon just down there. Just click it, subscribe, hit all notifications, and you're good to go. Buy a van. Do it up. Because we're going to be doing this whole crafter into a whole new mobile home. We've done a load of work on it. We've still got loads to do, but... It will be done in no time. The rate we're working, we're going to be going through it in a matter of weeks. Anyway, next is to get the solar panels on the roof. So, see you in the next video.